these boots are made for walking and that's just what they'll do. One of these days, these boots are gonna Welcome back to Life in My Shoes Reviews and Such. <coughs> As the intro indicated, I am doing a review of the Cole Haan Zero Brand Stitch Light Wool Chucka. So here they are. I've done other Cole Haan reviews, so go look in, um, I think I have a Cole Haan playlist. I will try to link it up top here um, that you can access either a previous video or a playlist. So... As you know, I'm a big fan of Cole Haan. Um, so I am always kind of watching their website. I've signed up for um, emails from their website, which I encourage you to do if you like uh, Cole Haan. Uh, but I watch the product, I get email advertisements, I get notifications of discounts. Um, but overall, I'm just a fan of the brand and I kind of watch what they're doing. In watching what they're doing, I'm able to kind of pinpoint styles or shoes or uh, product that they offer that I want to eventually try out. So this is one that I had been watching um, when I got my last business casual, which I think is the Zero Grand 2.0s. Um, when I got those, um, this was also something that was kind of on my radar, but wasn't cost effective at the time. So per the norm, let me do this. Let me give you the facts of the purchase give you some facts about the product from the company, and then I will give you some my thoughts uh, on using the product for a, um, a couple weeks to a month uh, since I've had them. So let's launch into the facts about the purchase. <clears throat> First off, uh, as you know, I am a bargain hunter when it comes to about everything, specifically shoes. Uh, so I knew these were a shoe that I was looking for, and so I've been watching on a variety of different platforms to see if I could find a discount. I was able to find these on eBay, brand new, open box in a size 11. This is the color brown. I was able to find these for $40. These, when they were on the Kohlhan website, which they are not currently on, more on that later, um, they were ranging in the $150 range um, and possibly higher, but I, I specifically remember $150. Um, as I mentioned, um, they were uh, size 11, uh, new, without a box. So now let me tell you what Cole Haan says about the product. Before I do that, I do need to insert this caveat that this is not a sponsored video. I did purchase these shoes on my own. While I am linking to Cole Haan's website in my description, there's no kickback to me. Again, I purchased these. I'm just an average Joe that loves shoes and decided to do a review of these shoes because I just recently purchased them. <clears throat> so here we go. Let's talk about what Cole Haan and other retail sites say about the Cole Haan product. <clears throat> um, from a materials perspective, they have enhanced breathability. That is ventilating details and temp regulating materials breathe with you. You stay cool and dry all day, every day. So you can kind of see the ventilation holes. This is wool, which wool does real well to breathe and pull moisture away from uh, your body. They use wool in um, running socks, um, hiking socks, and they're starting to use it more often. So um, the wool stitch light upper has the breathability and that moisture um, pulling away from your body capability. Uh, all over knitted wool, stitch light, chukka upper. So again, this is that stitch light, which is kind of a proprietary. Um, and you can see kind of it has a little bit of give to it that you can kind of have some stretch there. And then it has a fully padded sock lining for ultimate comfort. So just kind of on the inside, you got some padding and comfort on the inside so that it's not abrasive on the foot. <clears throat> so from a construction perspective, they say it has a natural flexibility, which is what these grooves are, which was one of my interest in buying this shoe. Um, they say it is a smart design in engineering to mimic the foot's natural motion. You move smoothly from heel to toe 
with less fatigue. Less fatigue, that's subjective, but these breaks do provide for a natural shoe movement. Um, I've talked about some of this in some of my ultras uh, running shoes that they have similar breaks, and even the Nike Free has similar breaks to let your foot move in a natural way to bend. Uh, it's a responsive cushioning. Uh, it has systematic layers of proprietary cushioning compounds softly padding each step. So it has an EVA midsole with rubber outsole. So this is the EVA midsole, and this is your rubber that protects. So on my first generation uh, Zero Grand Chuckas, uh, it was with the Nike Lunar Lawn technology. They also had the rubber at the toe and the heel, which are kind of your high, um, uh, high usage spots of the shoe. So uh, it is made with the Grand OS technology, which is the technology of the heel. You can actually see right here, it says Grand OS Kohan. <clears throat> um, it is a fully padded sock, sock lining for ultimate comfort. It has leather detailing on the heel. So you see right here, the leather detailing in here. Um, there's also some on the uh, tongue and the loop on the tongue, which is, it's just a nice added benefit. Um, and from a care perspective, they say it's an easy to care. So obviously you don't throw this in the washer, but what you can do is you could spot clean with a cleaning cloth and a mild detergent since it's kind of a fabric. Um, so there you go. There is the 50 foot overview of my purchase and the product as described by retailers. Now let me give you my thoughts on using this product. First, let's talk about the purchase of this product. So obviously I mentioned that I got these new without a box on eBay for $40. I also mentioned that typically the retail on a retail site was in the $150 range. That puts these at something south of 33% of the original price. So roughly 66 plus percent off. So from that perspective, a phenomenal purchase. $40 is right now is probably what used to be $25 when I was growing up. You are lucky to ever find a pair of shoes that are under $40. Um, so $40 is a fantastic price. $40 is a fantastic price for a pair of Cole Hans, specifically for this pair of Cole Hans. <clears throat> but why would I purchase this? Uh, obviously, I have a problem. Um, but beyond that, uh, I've confessed I love shoes. Obviously, I named the channel after shoes. But secondly, I have been watching the Cole Hans for a shoe that had this type of sole. Two things, um, the natural foot movement that it talks about, I wanted to try and see how that worked. Secondly, from observation of my coworkers wearing these back when I was in the office, they looked incredibly light. So I wanted to check out how light are they? How um, does it feel to have that flexibility? Um, and how comfortable are they to wear? So that was one of the justifications for it. Obviously the price made it a very easy decision to make. Um, the color, I was kind of indifferent to color. Now this works out nice for me. I have dark browns in some of my boots. I have sand or khaki in some of my other shoes. This is middle ground between those two. Um, ironically, I already had a, a belt that matches this perfect um, because I had purchased it without having my dark brown boots with me, discovered that it didn't match those. So I kind of have been holding on to this belt that didn't match anything until I got these. So now I have a belt that matches these as well. Added bonus. Um, now, what I can't tell you, but I'm speculating is these might be discontinued. Um, so I know they have the traditional shoe, not the chukka, um, but they have the traditional stitch light um, zero grands with this sole. They are still selling those on their website, but the Chukka themselves, they may have discontinued them. They're not on the Kohan website any longer. Kohan has recently launched out with a new line of, of um, both casual dress and just casual boots, almost like a hiking boot. So it's very possible that this has been discontinued. So you may want to check around 
for to retailers. I mean, Zappos may still have some. You might be able to find some on uh, Amazon and other shoe retailers, but just know it could be a quickly dwindling pool, but I can't confirm that. I'm not 100% certain of that. So from a fit perspective, I've had these for about a month. I've worn them in different, multiple different scenarios, but to align with my original uh, Zero Grand Chuckas, they are very narrow uh, in the toe. So you can see it very narrow and comes to kind of a point. Um, the original, my suede uh, Zero Grand Chuckas are the same. And in fact, when I bought um, my Zero Grand 2.0s, my, my orange um, sold casual Cole Hans, which um, I'll try to link here in the video somewhere. When I bought those, because of that narrowness of the original Zero Grand Chucka, I upsized a half size and that became problematic with that shoe. Uh, but, so this one I went back to my traditional size, which is an 11. They are narrow, but the nice thing of the narrowness is that this type of knit material upper has some forgiveness in it. Whereas the suede that I have in the original ones um, isn't forgiving at all. So it just crunches the toes together. This one, over time, I fully expect my toes to start pushing the limits of the material around the toe box. Um, <clears throat> it is, as I mentioned, it is more forgiving. There is more give and more stretch in this material, which is a nice aspect of it. Um, Another aspect that they described is the breathability. So you got a lot of holes in this knit upper. Um, I've already told you some of the benefits of wool. Uh, this would be um, typically a really good shoe in this season, the fall, a non-rainy fall, um, and in the spring and in the summer because of the ventilation. My concern is going to be in um, a wet fall, wet winter or wet spring or winter in general. Um, I don't know how they will do in the wet seasons and I don't know how they will do in the cold seasons. My fear is that they may be breathe a little bit too much to be something to be wearing uh, in any season that's cool. Um, and I'm not sure about the repelling of the water. I don't think they will do a phenomenal job repelling in a heavy rain season, which we often have in our fall and spring. And in all honesty, we usually have a pretty rainy winter versus um, a snowy winter. Um, but they, I mentioned earlier the two aspects of why I wanted to try them was because of the flex in the sole and they appeared light. They are incredibly light um, and I love that aspect of them. So what I would say from a comfort perspective, these are more comfortable than a traditional work or dress shoe. Um, so like with a leather sole and a leather upper, they are much more uh, comfortable than that, but they are definitely not as comfortable as a pair of tennis shoes. So it is really kind of what you're looking for. It's a more comfortable shoe for um, the everyday uh, casual dress work environment. So how would I use these shoes? Well, I'll tell you how I have used them. Um, I've used these in casual business and in casual. So I've, I've rocked them with uh, a pair of khakis and I've rocked them with jeans. And the, the uh, honest feedback is that I think it does a phenomenal job in both of those environments. I think where they begin to fall down, um, which I don't even think is them falling down because I don't think they're intended to do this, is in a dress scenario. So if you're wearing these with a pair of dress slacks, you're trying to dress them up with a, with a suit, um, you're already misusing this shoe. This is not intended to be that. Um, this is really a business casual or a casual shoe. Um, and if you're trying to stretch it outside of that, um, I would say if you're trying to stretch it into dress, you're going too much. If you're trying to stretch it into too active, like a hiking boot, again, I think you're going too much. Um, it's not an athletic, um, but it is that nice balance of the casual and the business casual that you can kind of use it to rock both of those uh, wardrobes. Um, but all in all, I've been very happy with them. I've been happy with the purchase. Inexpensive, um, they've been comfortable, they're light, they have the flex in them. 
Um, they match, uh, they go well with uh, khakis and with jeans, so I've got no real complaints there. Um, so what do you think? Have you tried any Cole Haan? Do you subscribe to Cole Haan's emails? If you don't I, and you like Cole Haan, I strongly encourage you to do that. They have great sales. They also have some really cool new products if you're willing to drop the Bitcoins on their, uh, um, not Bitcoins, but the Bitcoin, the big money on their um, new stuff coming out. They're really cool looking um, hiking and, and casual business boots um, and shoes. They've got um, a whole line of tennis shoes as well. So they're really trying to get uh, even into the um, athletic tennis, tennis shoes and I think they've actually have some running shoes that they're trying to get into that market. So go check them out. Uh, and there you go. That is the review of the Kohan Zero Brand Stitch Light Wool Chucka. Kohan always has a mouthful for their naming conventions. So let me know what you think. Give me a thumbs up and a like. Leave a comment below. Uh, and I will try to get back to you if you have any thoughts or feedbacks on these. Or reach out to me if you have any products you would like me to try. And until our next review, be good to one another.